Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, for a while there, it felt like we were gonna live in a world without the TYT. You know, there was a little period there where the Young Turks network seemed as though it was going under. I mean, it's a pretty hard task to keep an independent network like that running, especially in the long run. I don't know how many employees the TYT has, but I'm assuming it's probably upwards of 50. They do the whole production studio thing, you know, I'm sure they got big expenses. And at one point, the channel was struggling to get 100,000 views on most videos. It looked like a pretty dead YouTube channel. For a pretty good while there, Jenk was constantly begging for donations. I'm not sure if you guys remember that era of TYT. And while some people would celebrate that, I wouldn't be one of those people. I love the TYT. I mean, I absolutely love the TYT. Just like I love Nancy Pelosi and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the rest of these lunatic leftists, because without them, well, I probably wouldn't exist. And that's why I'm just elated these days to see the Young Turks network coming back from the dead, and boy is that happening today as the TYT is going mega viral along with Cenk Uger, because apparently, and yes, this is real, Cenk Uger just announced that he is running for president of the United States in the Democrat primary against Joe Biden. Well, kind of. I mean, he announced that he's running, but it seems as though not even 20 24 hours later, his presidential campaign has already come to an end. Let me update you guys on whatever this story is. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so it all started off with a tweet. Cenk Uger writes, A major announcement on the Young Turks tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's about the presidential race. Then it turns out that this was the announcement. I had not yet made up my mind, but I have now, and I have filed. I will be running for president of the United States of America. Oh, it just got real, folks. Joe Biden has a serious contender now, and that contender is Cenk Uger. Except, not really. Cenk Uger's presidential announcement fell so flat that even his co-host during the announcement was essentially telling him that he's an idiot and shouldn't run. I, f I really fail to understand how any potential Democratic candidate would see your run as a sign that they need to enter the race. I really do, I don't see it. No, we it. gotta knock Biden out. There's no other way around it. We have to knock Biden out. So now, the guys who are not running currently, yeah, they are they believe in authoritarian rules, right? If the dear leader, Joe Biden says, I don't care if I'm 90 or 200, you will bow, they bow. And that is not what a Democrat is supposed to be. We're not supposed to bow down to authority. We're supposed to challenge authority. Well, they're, so, doing, but when it, you see they're the doing it to protect our democracy, Jake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Democracy yeah. is under threat, so. Yeah, if you're, if you're one of those Democratic governors, don't you ever dare say, the democracy is under threat and not run against the guy who has almost no chance of winning. Oh man, now you guys get the finished version of these videos, you know, where I edit out all the mistakes that I make in the audio, record so many parts of this commentary, just because I keep laughing hysterically. I don't know what the, I don't know, I don't know. We're seeing arguably one of the greatest ratios of 2023. Not only is Cenk Uger getting ratioed by his own co-host on TYT, but his major announcement of the major announcement that he was gonna make on the network, the tweet that I showed you guys earlier, it got nearly 140,000 views and roughly 350 likes. Oh, Jenk's gonna get him. He's literally convinced that he could get 20% of the Democrat primary vote when he can't even get 400 likes on his tweet. I don't know if this is some sort of donation ploy because the TYT's struggling or whether Janky Boy here is actually serious. But the simple fact is that obviously this is completely unserious considering Cenk Uger is literally not even eligible to run for president. That's probably one of the funniest parts of this whole thing. He keeps tweeting about how he's running for president. And on nearly every single tweet that he's released, he's getting fact-checked in the community notes. Here's one of those tweets. We've already passed a thousand donors to the campaign. People know I'm going to fight for them. And they know that Biden is going to lose. We have to do something about it right now. And then let's read the community notes notes, Cenk Uger was born in Turkey and cannot become the president of the United States according to the U.S. Constitution. Yes, I'm running for president against Joe Biden for the Democratic nomination. Joe Biden is down 24 points on the economy. He has no ability to make up that kind of ground on the most important issue. We need a new candidate now. Let's go to the community notes. Cenk Uger is a naturalized U.S. citizen who was born in Istanbul, Turkey, to Turkish parents. He is therefore ineligible to serve as president of the United States. 
states as he is not a natural born citizen, i.e. born to American parents or on American soil. He then follows up by saying, case law is clear, naturalized citizens can run for president. Schneider is clear that treating natural born citizens and naturalized citizens differently is contrary to the Fifth Amendment. Forbidding naturalized citizens from becoming president or vice president is a form of discrimination that limits their options and treats them as a second class citizen. So Jenks telling us here that actually he is constitutionally allowed to become president. Now, of course, let's take a look at the community notes. Schneider versus Rusk hasn't been recognized or upheld by the U.S. Supreme Court or any authoritative legal body in the context of naturalized citizens running for president. So Jenk Uger literally took a court case that has nothing to do with presidential eligibility and attempted to make the point that actually legal precedent states that he can run for president. It's all just so stupid and honestly it's hardly news. It's really more entertainment than it is news. But the whole Jenk running for president thing really isn't the main point of this video. What have we been talking about over the last, I'd say like three or four weeks? Democrat panic. Well, this is one of those major Democrat networks. This is the premier progressive news network. They are panicking because they know that Donald Trump stands a good chance of winning the next election. What Cenk Uger is doing here is sounding the alarm. This is Cenk Uger's emotionally unhinged reaction to this Marquette poll that showed that Donald Trump was leading on pretty much every single important issue facing the nation by upwards of 20 points. The polls just keep on coming. It's not just on the issues. We're seeing some of the most dismal Democrat polling numbers in some of the most important states ever recorded. Just yesterday, I released a video on the state of Pennsylvania. The general point of that video is that it seems as though Pennsylvania is seeing a little bit of a red rush. I didn't have too much polling data to back up the point that I was making, but I said, most likely we're going to start seeing a shift here. And then literally the next day, Pennsylvania poll from Emerson, one of the best pollsters out there, shows Donald Trump leading Joe Biden by almost 10 points. No wonder Jenks having a panic attack. Here's a general election poll in the state of Wisconsin from Emerson as well, Trump leading by two. Here's a local poll from Michigan, 2024 general election where Trump leads 42 points to Biden's 35. Here's a new national poll that has Trump up by four. You know, these numbers just keep on coming. And it's just crazy how the rhetoric or the talking points has shifted so dramatically. It went from Joe Biden has a great track record, the infrastructure bill. They keep telling us Joe Biden's the greatest legislative champion champion in American history. He's created so many jobs. He's done so much good. It went from them shilling all of his supposed accomplishments, accomplishments, to now being red in the face, panicking, and announcing presidential runs because Joe Biden must be replaced. He's gonna lose. Oh man, this video was fun, friends. I absolutely love Cenk Uger. I love the TYT. Honestly, I don't know what I would do without them. To be honest, without Cenk Uger, I'd probably still be working a 9 to 5. What a funny time to be alive. That's what I got for you guys, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.